Let's start by checking out our project. Now, we can move into dual mode, where we can verify Google's light hour information and identify any callouts or instructions. We can preview the house in this mode, examining if there are any unique features that need special attention. For instance, let's spot this chimney. On the original Google post, it might appear as a shapeless mass rather than a chimney. By identifying this, we're now equipped to proceed with our design. Our first action is to click on the model and then select the roof section. This step initiates a 3D representation of the property. Notice how we consider angles and roof characteristics to ensure accuracy. To maintain flexibility, you can start from any point. If you delete a section, you can undo it using the back button or Ctrl plus C. With these adjustments, our 3D rendering offers a clearer view of the property. Now, let's adjust the building's height to 16 feet. Here's our modified house. Moving on, we'll focus on placing obstructions, like the cylinders. This step enhances the simulation's accuracy. Let's add a cylinder obstruction here. Perfect. Now, let's place additional obstructions like these skylights, adjusting their heights according to the specifics. It's worth noting that we can always modify these measurements. Next, copy and paste the adjusted dimensions. Now, let's go back to 3D view. Our layouts are taking shape. Reverting to 3D mode, we have a solid foundation to work with. Now, we can use a single click to select the house and a double click to select a specific surface for further action. A simple fill face command populates the area, keeping in mind the module placement. Remember, double clicking a section lets you add automated setbacks. After confirming the settings, we can observe the rafters' positions. Similarly, for the other side, we apply the same process. Setbacks are automated, and we're ready to proceed. Now, let's integrate inverters. In the components menu, you can choose between string inverters or other options. Now, it's time to save our design and proceed to simulation. This interface leads us to system details, where you can input pricing, incentives, and other factors. You can even add battery components, considering their unique features and benefits. For micro-inverter calculations, simply select the solar panels, and the software does the rest. The software makes these calculations easy and efficient. Moving on, the wire size calculator helps you determine cable requirements. To examine the cable diagram, press the designated key. This gives you a visual representation of your setup. Returning to our design, we can engage the simulation mode. It includes various options like sun simulation, variance map, solar access, and more. Now, let's proceed to save our design and estimate generation based on utility information. This takes us to the design properties section. Your proposal is generated and customizable to suit your preferences. The proposal version includes company details, logo, layout variations, and pertinent information. And finally, the 3D model can also be included in the document. This concludes the design process using the ARCA 360 platform. If you have any queries or wish to explore further, sign up for a demo. Have a wonderful day.